Look, all I'm saying is that it only makes sense for the first Final Fantasy game, the one that started it all, the one that none of you would even exist without, is arguably, inarguably, the best Final Fantasy game. There's no combating that. There's no reason to even consider any of the others. Oh look, you have androgynous boy number A, androgynous girl number B. And I don't want to say that your Final Fantasy game sucked, but have you played Final Fantasy VIII? Final Fantasy I is just 10 times better, objectively, figuratively, opinionatively, factually, any which way you slice it, my game is clearly the best. I mean, look at these other guys. Squall, how many belts do you need? Cloud has so much hairspray that if you cast fire one time, his entire head's gonna go up. And are you f kidding me with Titus? He plays underwater volleyball. I mean, this shit is ridiculous. Warrior of Light? He doesn't even have a name. What? What? Your guys' stories were all about love relationships. Mwah, 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 Rosa. Mwah, 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 Digger. Mwah, 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 Sid. Which Sid? Oh, it doesn't matter. This is a love story. When's the last time you saw character customization? Oh yeah, that's right. You have to restart your whole entire game. Okay, at least in my game, you didn't see the betrayal coming a mile away. And not all my party members came back to life. Tella sacrificed himself to avenge his daughter. Is there anything more noble? I think not. Final Fantasy V is obviously superior, considering that it is the hallmark of the job system and creates jobs that are staples within the Final Fantasy franchise. Not to mention, our freaking Chocobo had so much character. Why else would you pass up this game? Most of the characters in my game are attractive babes, and I have a whole harem of them to myself. There was so much personality in my game, regardless of the fact that it was still in sprites. It's a marvel how they were able to use these animation tropes to tell my story. The game was absurd, it was super fun, and it was lighthearted. Exactly what you need in a Final Fantasy game. All of this dark ass shit. Fuck that. Who needs that when your main character gets to wear a sheer see-through tank top? Not to mention the dancer class. Mm-mm. If Boko was here, he'd squawk for four Chocobo thumbs up. <laughs> it's a brilliant game of ups and downs, of triumphs and heartbreaks, and the biggest tragedy that one could ever possibly imagine of family and friends and love and loss and... The villain is a clown. What else could you want? Brilliant tale of triumph and tragedy, of finding hope in the depths of despair, of people finding friends in unlikely places, of having something to live for. Though evil will always lurk, there will always, as I said, be people and dreams. I don't even know why we're debating this. It's clearly seven. It's the best selling and gets forced into everything in Hello, Tifa's boobs. Do I need to say any more? Case closed. Hey, you know what? My game has a teacher hitting on me in the first 10 minutes. What has your game got? That's what I thought, you cuck. Man, it must be great not having a junction system in your pathetic game. Too bad, I can do 9,000 damage in the first hour. What about you? You can't do jack shit. Yeah, you know what? F Tifa, she's overrated anyway. You know what? F Tifa, her tits are overrated anyway. That bar 7th heaven? More like slut heaven, am I right? People shit on Garnet, but you know what? Beatrix should have been Garnet. What the f you just f say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. Wait, I mean, Seed Academy. Yeah, that's right. I've been involved in numerous secret raids in Al Qaeda. No, wait, I mean, Galbadia. That's right. And I have over 300 confirmed kills. I am trained in guerrilla warfare, and I am top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. Sniper Bitch Boy can eat his heart out. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the f*** out with precisions like the witch you have never been seen before on this planet. Mark my f***ing words. If you think you can get away with it, say that again and think again, f***er. Guys, guys, guys. I mean, come on. Hands down, the best music in the whole series. I mean, come on. And, uh, you know, uh, I've got this amazing tale. And let me just tell you, it's more than just for looks. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and raise my hand for the best name in the series. 
I mean, yeah, there's been some mispronunciations, but that's the beauty of it. You can call me whatever you want. I can be Zidane, Zidon, Zidune, uh, I don't know what the hell else. What have you been calling me? I don't know. Zidon? Whatever. Just call me whatever you want. Just make sure you call me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. But, I mean, come on. The only other person who has any kind of remote chance of mispronouncing a name is what's your face? Titus? Titus? Tweetus? <laughs> uh, what, are, what are we talking about again? Not to mention that my iteration went back to the roots of fantasy. I mean, look at us. We're all, like, cartoony and energetic and, you know, you guys, uh, sorry, but um, Squall, Cloud, Titus, whatever the hell your name is, you could pretty much just kind of stand next to each other. You could you guys fit in each other's clothes? Sorry to point this out, but I am the protagonist with the most personality out of all of you. <laughs> you guys are basically cardboard cutouts of each other. Jeez, God. Squall? Cloud? <laughs> You're basically the same thing. You're both puns on, like, like stormy weather and, like, ah, ha, ha. So I'm a squall. Like, my inner turmoil is taking over my body. I'm a cloud full of strife. Oh, wait. Your name is Cloud Strife, isn't it? Have I mentioned the tale? Plus, we haven't even discovered my trance mode. <laughs> I'll show you later, Terra. <laughs> also, some information that you may not have remembered from my game is that when I go into trance mode, <laughs> I am fully nude. <laughs> All that hair is on my baby. My game is obviously the best. First of all, the story in Final Fantasy X is freaking awesome, but that being said, the battle system is so freaking good. And as all Final Fantasy fans know, Square Enix is genius when it comes to soundtracks. The level up system creates a completionist hell. Beyond that, there's the whole weapon customization pit. If you're looking for a title that's bright and colorful, obviously my game is the best. I mean, freaking Blitzball. Final Fantasy X is obviously the best one there is. In terms of world building, you all can sit down. Final Fantasy X came up with some of the most iconic characters there are. Not to mention the whole setting situation was a breath of fresh air for all of our new fans. It truly ushered Final Fantasy into a new era. <laughs> no, but really. The cutscenes in this are freaking beautiful.
Ugh, get a life.